This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, a quick uh, tip on uh, how to get the auto suggestions in Cypress in Visual Studio Code because you must have seen that uh, you are struggling to get all these suggestions like that. So how will you get all these suggestions right now? You can see something like this, right? So I'll show you that uh, how will you get, this is called uh, you know, intelligent code completion or IntelliSense also you can simply say that auto suggestions just like we do it, we get it in Eclipse or some other editors. How exactly you will get it in Visual Studio Code for all the Cypress things. So there are multiple ways of uh, doing it. Uh, let me do one thing that uh, first let me just, you need to create this jsconfig.json file at the root folder of your project. Okay, can you see that? This is my root folder of the project and under this you simply create one JSON, uh, jsconfig.json file and this is the thing that you have to write. And how will you get this particular code? It's uh, written over there in their APA documentation, intelligent code completion. So you just simply scroll down what do you have to do that uh, you have to add jsconfig.json file in the root of the project and simple add this particular code. I'll share this particular link with you guys. So please uh, do that and you simple add this particular file. Okay, so that's it. And then you open your uh, Cypress, any project, let's say I'll open this element test.js and uh, just a second, yeah. And then I simply write C by a dot, you will start getting all the suggestions now. Okay, whatever the method, let's say I want to write C by dot contains method. Along with this contains method, you will get the method signature also that what are different parameters you have to pass a string parameter or optional regression and uh, uh, regular expression parameter you can pass. You will get a complete information also that what exactly this uh, is all about. Okay, let me just show you once again. Okay, like this, you will be getting it. The reference documentation also, you can simply directly click on it and various examples also, you will be getting it over here from their direct documentation. This is something really good. Okay, Visual Studio Code will give you as an auto suggestion over there. So simple, you just need to create one JS config.json and that's it. Tomorrow, if you're writing TypeScript, if you're using TypeScript, for TypeScript, you have to create TypeScript TS config.json. So right now, we are not using any TypeScript and inside your cypress folder that you have to do that and simple this is a content that you have to do that okay you have to create that so in your cypress folder you have to create in this particular folder not in the root of the project but right now we are not using any uh, type script so you can ignore that there is one more uh, concept they have uh, that is called i'll show you see uh, yeah this one uh, triple slash uh, directives. What do you mean by triple slash uh, directives? Triple slash directive is says, okay, says that uh, uh, you simply add one reference type directive in your uh, spec file, in your test file, and automatically you will start getting the suggestions over there. So what I'm going to do that, uh, let me delete this particular JS config, or let me just uh, do one thing, just me just comment it out, okay? The moment I comment it out, let me check, do I, I'm still getting, getting some suggestions or not? Yeah, it's maybe, I have done something in my user configuration, so that's why it's coming. But if you restart your uh, Visual Studio Code, it will again, it's gone, okay? So that is the first thing. Second thing is that directives, as I'm telling you. So you can do one thing. This is an optional thing, okay? It's not compulsory to use this. Triple slash directive means you simply add this particular directive. You copy this guy and simply write on top of the describe, write it like this, reference types is equal to Cypress. It means moment you add, for a specific file, for a specific test class file and uh, test JS file, immediately you will start getting the suggestions. So you can try this also. The moment you write cy dot, you can start getting it. In fact, you can add some other uh, libraries also. Let's say I want to add uh, for chai assertion or chai jQuery or whatever other libraries are there, I can add it and then I'll start getting it. So let's say for chai assertion point of view, we have this expect uh, libraries is there right so expect something and then you will see that okay it's coming from chai assertion and i simply say that okay i'm expecting test a dot to right like this a dot empty or dot equal or equals or something like this you can use that so auto suggestions are very very helpful to write the code faster and faster okay otherwise you cannot remember all these uh, methods right obviously and you cannot remember all the parameters also so I, we really don't want to go to their API documentation again and again so this is the second thing you can do that 
In fact, they say that, okay, you can write reference type is equal to support also. If you have written any custom method or custom uh, uh, libraries that you have created and that is available under your support, let's see command.js, you can start uh, getting the things from support, uh, support folder also. Like that also, you can do that. Okay, but again, uh, but if you, uh, this is like really thing that, okay, you have to add for every file over here. So I just remove this. So we need a global configuration. So for global configuration, you simple, the best thing is that you simple add jsconfig.json file, you can add it. There is one more solution they have given that, uh, so this is a jsconfig. What you do that if you really want to apply for all the projects, Right now we have just only one project. This is Cypress practice YouTube. Tomorrow, let's you want to create one more project and that uh, jsconfig.json file is not available in that case. So first you add this jsconfig.json and you do one thing for a new project. If you don't want to add jsconfig.json, there is one more way. So you simply go to code, go to preference and go to settings and go to under user settings and under user settings, you have to add this particular code. Can you see that? So you were getting some auto suggestions after commenting out the JS config, right? Why? Just because of this user config.json, okay? This user.settings I have added over here under this particular file. So let's say that, okay, hey, JSON is schema and this is a URL they have uh, given where all the schemas are defined. So it will fetch the UR uh, data from the, okay, from here like this. And then we'll start getting it over there. Like this, can you see that this? By default, these properties are already there that, okay, hey, what will be the font size, zoom level, and all those things so don't delete them put a comma okay at the end after false and then this configuration is available you just need to copy this guy not from here you just copy from here because this is complete json uh okay this bracket we we have to write under this particular bracket but bracket is already there because other properties are already available we just need to add these properties that's it okay so at the global level in the tool setting also user settings also you can do that when you do it, please restart your Visual Studio code once and make sure that, okay, there's, uh, if you really want to add jsconfig.json, please, add, okay, and just uncomment it over here. Now, now you are good to go. Simply write, let's see, cy dot visit. See, this visit method, sorry, cy dot visit, and it's saying that, okay, this is the method. It's clearly saying that, okay, this is a method. And the method is always, uh, the symbol is like this. This is called a method. Okay, this cube, something like this, you can see that. And it's saying that, okay, it will take one string. And there are options parameter, you can pass some, you know, uh, visit options like this. And there are a number of options, you can see that all four parameters are, we will talk about this in later. So URL, you can pass different uh, other options, you can pass timeout and everything. See, this is the okay thing they have given over there. If you really want to check, you simply go to this and then check the visit API over there. That's it, right? So this is called auto suggestion. Please do it. Either you do it by jsconfig.json or you do a user settings over there, or you can do with the help of a triple reference type also you can do that. So there are three ways of doing it. I would prefer to do add simple this jsconfig.json and then you are good to go for that particular project. It's always a good practice. And then tomorrow you want to share with the Git repository to other users also for other team members also, they will be by default getting this uh, JS config dot JSON like that. Okay, so you can read out this particular documentation. There are some other options are also available. I haven't uh, gone through it, but I think I've already covered these are the three types they have already explained. This is what I have already done it. Okay, especially with the Visual Studio code they have given it. So it's good to go and absolutely working fine. And one more thing, there are let's see some Cypress dot JSON in Cypress dot JSON. That's my next video actually. You can configure some global settings over there. What kind of global settings that, okay, hey, what will be my default timeout? Okay, command timeout, you can customize it. So by default timeout is four seconds over here. I can, let's see, I can give 10, 10 seconds. Execution timeout, I can give 60 seconds. Page load timeout, so I can overwrite, okay, the default with the new value over here. Now, there are multiple environment configurations are available. You simply write double quotes and press control space. So you will see, okay, these are the environment variables are available in Cypress just because of all these suggestions are coming right so all these suggestions are coming because of auto okay intelligent code completion auto suggestions are coming like that just because of we have added this jsconfig.json so this is very powerful please do that in the next video i'll tell you what do you mean by all these guys
okay so that's a small video is thank you so much please do it let me know if you have any issues thanks for watching this video